Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the coefficient of determination which is used in multiple linear regression in R. So in previous videos, uh, numbers 101 and numbers 102, I showed you how to uh, both create a, a multiple linear regression model and then use it for making predictions. But one of the things we need to know is how strong our model is, how good is it at predicting the dependent variable. And we do this uh, with a value called the coefficient of determination. So we need to know what that is in order to gauge the effectiveness of our model. So the data that I'm going to use is taken from the Datarium package. So if you haven't already load that, uh, load that, load this um, or install it from uh, our studio. So I'm going to load the library and I'm going to take a look at the first six lines of the very of the data set. There are 200 in total. Uh, just to take a quick look at what the data is all about, what we are dealing with here. So this is marketing data that is used to predict the value of sales. So we have the spend for YouTube, the spend for Facebook and the spend for newspaper. This is in advertising. And so what we did in previous videos was we built a model to predict the sales depending on various values for uns of spending for YouTube, Facebook and newspaper. So this is how we did this on line 10. This is the code for building the model. So I've created a model which I have called sales model and I'm using the linear model function LM two, which contains uh, three components to make the model. So the first component is the dependent variable sales. And then we use the tilde symbol here in the center to regress the three independent variables on sales, the dependent variable. And we have seen that the data set must be indicated here in the linear model function as well. And it is the marketing data set that we are using. So that's why it's data equal to marketing. So let me now run this and create the model. You can see in our global environment that our sales model has been created. So you can take a look at, at the values and everything there. We're going to see them in an output here in a second. And in order to display the output in a readable fashion, I'm going to use the summary function to display my sales model. So I'm going to run that. And uh, if I very quickly uh, see how the model is built, the estimate column here is the column that we use, the values that are in this column for the y-intercept, which is 3.52, for YouTube, Facebook, and, and newspaper, those four values are the values that we put in to build up our model. So those four values are the same values that you see that I have here on line 13 in the code. But how good or strong is this model at prediction? We can make predictions with it, but at, at the moment, we're not sure how strong this model is. So I'm going to take a closer look at the output here. So I'm going to scroll up here to give myself plenty of room. We can see the um, line of code that has displayed the model here and the uh, line of code to create the model. And uh, what we're looking for here is the uh, value called the multiple R squared value. So that's down on the second last line. So the multiple R squared value, which, which is also called the coefficient of determination, which is what we're looking for, this provides a measure of how well our model as a whole explains the value of the dependent variable. So we want this to be a good value. So it's similar, if you like, to a correlation coefficient in that the closer the value is to 1.0, the better the model perfectly explains the data. So we can see that our square, our squared value here is 0 0.8972. So that's quite close to one. So that's a very, very strong uh, model as, as far as we can tell. And how we can interpret this is as this value um, is um, 0.8972. We know that almost 90%, 89.72%, almost 90% uh, of the variation in the dependent variable is explained by our model. And of course, that's a very, very good, strong value. Now you can also see that there's another um, value over here, an adjusted R squared value, which you can see is slightly smaller. And this value here is used if you have a lot of independent variables. Now we've got three, um, so but if you had uh, you know five, six, seven, eight, or even more, you would use the adjusted R squared value. So that's an adjusted coefficient of determination. And what is happening here is that the adjusted R squared value corrects the R squared value by penalizing models with a large number of independent variables. So we've just got three here, so we can report the multiple R squared model um, value here of 89.72 or 0 0.8972. And that indicates to us in this particular instance for our sales model here, that we have a very strong model indeed, and that we can feel confident in predicting uh, sales uh, values uh, based on the three independent variables. So that's how you calculate the coefficient of determination in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.